Checking the sensors and everything's connected. Why right? all the electronics? Yep, yeah, gotta hook up the uh, O2s now. Okay. The menace right there. Hell yeah! Well, we've got a wrench over here as well as a mouth. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah, brother! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what we got here! Wait a minute. Hey, how long? How are you doing? Good, good. Richard, now, because they come out of that thing. Richard, legit. Yeah, yeah. It's like you, what? I want to see what it looks like. Yeah. I'll get on the same bike as you Gain a little bit. It's very noisy. Take it off. Take it off. The box is wet. Come on. <laughs> The room because it's very loud in there. It's a deeper, it's a way deeper sound. Full, lower, lower tone. You can hear it in the other room. Imagine because it's like two into one, same length, yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's small, it's small tweaking because the headers, I think, are pretty much very uh, the yeah, design. The yeah, yeah, it's very close. Good example of uh, blow by pressure uh, built up from blow by. In the transmission area, there was a lot of air and uh, high pressure, and it vented out through the trask breather cover down to here. And this is where it dripped and hit the, the exhaust, and that was all the smoke that we just saw. Just shows you that uh, actually that that breather is. Uh, does it does its job but as you recall i also have a breather in the front with the catch can the catch can in the front the one that i did on the uh the air intake right here Got a lot of 
Moisture. How's that? You can see how the excess of uh, venting goes out. Which comes to show you that it's actually working. It's it's venting out the, the excess uh, pressure. So what's happening is this is leaking. Maybe it was leaking before, but only when it's in a, on a dyno sitting at 130 miles per hour in one spot and pushing the bike to the, what are you laughing? Uh, <laughs> pushing the bike to, uh, for, to max RPM to the limiter and it starts to leak. So we're gonna have to, there's like a small gasket over here. But to get to there, we actually have to take the whole primary cover off. So. Actually, why do you need to open that up? If we're taking the whole cover off. I gotta fill it up. Later. Yeah, I gotta oh. Okay, gotcha. It's easier to take it off. When gotcha, it's on when the it's bike. mounted, I gotcha. Not only that, the arrow oh. Gotcha. Just found out what was going. You see the seal right there? It simply moved. And that's where the oil was running out and coming out over here. Stupid little seal, the O-ring. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Nadal says I need some new, new oil, new primary oil. That's a little too, too rough, too tight. So that sticker, it, it comes on with the sticker, right? Yep. And then pressure pretty much held it in place. Yes. But it didn't hold in place. Maybe also because the stem is not there anymore because I did the mid controls. I, I moved them forward. A yeah, bit maybe. At the time. Right, right. So who knows? And so that's what we're doing right now. Those are the, the sticker gaskets. He's got a few of them. Right there. It's where it where oh, leaks. Right on there. So oh, this yeah, goes that's between I got you. here and here. Oh, and that's it where it leaks. I got you. You saw it actually slid. <laughs> Smooth it out, smoothen it out. They're bristle, they won't harm the surface. All right, cool. Use the 3M pad and start to take the material. Mm -hmm. Little things. Yeah, it is about the little Makes things. the jobs easier. Yeah. Also take Loctite, huh? <laughs> oh, for years in uh, in the city. It's a lot quicker than spinning it by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Physics and mechanics. This is the sequence to what I'm doing right now. Blue. I got that in orange, it's the Harley one. This is the Harley one. Yeah, why is my orange? They're different color for different uh, primaries. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The black one is for the soft tail. 
Mm -hmm. I have two orange ones over there, one for touring and one for the other salsa. These bolts usually strip, huh? Break, actually. No, they usually snap. Snap, yeah. One sixteen to one hundred nine. Yeah. From one thirty two torque to one twenty seven. Okay. So I lost a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some time at the motor and okay. see what happens. And I lost eighteen pounds. <laughs> All right. You uh, yeah. Tuesday or soon or whatever. Yeah, well, I'll call you. I'll, I'll call you as soon as I get. Was this run any better? No. No. Okay. So we'll put it back. Played with the we played with the, the timing, the sparking a little bit, uh, but it, it gave the same results. So we'll go back to what we had before. With the new the new pipe uh, did uh, knock uh, the horsepower and the torque a little bit down, but actually I knew that uh, I took that into account when I installed it. So I, I've seen in the past other videos of uh, I think a blockhead did where he did a comparison to shoot up between all the pipes, and the Sawiki I think was the best one. Right. Uh, so I knew that I'm going to be dropping a lot uh, somewhat over here, not not terribly, but. The bike is a beast as it is. I'm yeah. light, it's light, so to, I mean, listen, it's, it's, to... You know, maybe five horsepower, you're not going to... Yeah, yeah. Anything. I smoked the guys the other day anyway uh, at the ride, so I'm not worried about that. It sounds great. It looks great. I'm going to make one more tweak. Guys. Okay. I'm going to try to bring these lines a little bit closer to the dotted line. Okay. I might pick up a point or two, but I'm going okay. to get them a little straighter. Perfect. So. loud. Straighten the line. We can mess with timing. I know, and, and, and lean, make it more lean, but I don't want to. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for the long haul. Yeah. You, know, you can see right now, you're, you're on that, you're pegging that 1200. Your, your power band is that, you know, it's between the 3.9 and the 5.1. Okay. You got 1100 RPM power band. Okay. So, you know, what is a power band? What does that mean? What is that term? Like, Mike, do you have a good explanation? Power band? Power band. What's your good explanation? Power okay. band range. I know it's it's the it's the difference between the peak horsepower and the peak torque. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about it. So yeah. I know absolutely nothing. I know nothing about it. So enlighten me and teach teach the I mean, people. Really oh, I got you. We can look it up. Okay, okay. So it's max, it's the, it's the RPM distance between the max torque and max uh, horsepower. Did I get it right or no? That's what it's trying to describe. Yeah. Uh, I've always known as to where the, the, the cam is supposed to come in and, and they offer an RPM range which would be the power band at that point. So where the cam starts to really Gotcha. And, 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 you know, where it starts to come off. So it's so it's the, the, the zone where it's most effective. Yeah, that's in yeah. dumb dumbass uh, uh, terms for my my terms. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice my terms. Terms. Okay. And I don't have a I don't have a scientific okay. you know yeah, set for. So it is the power band. Is there really not scientific? But the power band is um, the RPM range that is between the peak torque and the peak horsepower. Okay. Okay. So um, it's where it's the, where it's where you get the most out of the cam, right. out of the tune, whatever. So when we sometimes see like Harley cams come in here, yeah, they're like seven or eight hundred on that power band between the horsepower and torque. You're at eleven hundred. So the the it's bigger the the bigger the number, the more range I have to work within the max performance of that cam. Right. So you're going to okay. be performing between peak. It's it's their performance between. Peak horse, peak torque, and peak horsepower. Got you. And what range is mine? Um, so your peak horse, your peak torque is at 3,900 RPM. 3,900. That's what your horsepower takes. 
And you're at 5,100 as your peak horsepower. So at, whenever I go between 3,900 to 5,400 RPMs, that's where I get the max out of my if you start, my if you start my, uh, holding this thing to 5,500 RPM, then I'm starting to lose. You're probably you're you're start you're already on your down. Oh, a downhill. Okay. So this, here here's your here's your torque already coming down, and your horsepower, you know, right here it's flat. It's pretty flat it. though. It doesn't really. I mean, it is peak, but it's pretty flat. Oh, I see. There it is. So max power. We got at 5,000, uh, no, 5.16. Right. And max uh, torque, torque we got at 39. So anywhere between those two numbers, that's where right. I'm at the peak performance of that cam. But look, I mean, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't, this, doesn't dip that much. This carries. So yeah. You're maybe one horsepower difference. Oh, yeah. So it carries, the horsepower is carried all the way from, uh, from, 5,000, from 51. Right, right around here, 62, you get down to 104. So there you start dropping off. Yeah. So this, you should be shifting at 6,000 on this part. Okay, interesting. You're still at 106. So the tuning, the tuning session is over pretty much. We're gonna. Uh, disconnect the bike, put in uh, my o the stock O2 sensors because right now it's the, the wideband O2 sensors and close the bike down, close button up the bike and ride out. Uh, so when I got here this morning it was raining really bad. Now the bike is done, tune is done, exhaust is on and I got to ride home in this rain. Tour Custom Cycles and Hack and Sec. I'm Sandy. Thank you for watching. I'm back home and it is, it was a nasty, nasty, nasty ride back home. All in all, it came out very, very nice. I'm very happy with the looks, happy with the sound. Performance dropped a little bit. I knew it would drop. It dropped more than I actually thought. Not too concerned about it. I have a feeling, by the way, compared it to uh, our dyno a year ago where I had a four or 5,000 miles less on the bike. I have a feeling quite a while that my clutch is giving in and I need to replace the clutch. I have a feeling we lost a little bit of horsepower and torque on the dyno because of the clutch. I'm gonna be replacing the clutch plates uh, very, very soon. But overall, extremely happy with the outcome. When weather clears up and I can ride the bike, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more footage, walk around. You'll hear the bike uh, idling a cold start and on the bike itself, you'll hear me getting on the pipe itself. What uh, happened? No, why, why are we talking now? What happened? Oh, so I was... Yesterday, I, yesterday when we finished... when we finished the dyno runs, right. we saw that the uh, Bassani pipe was a little less numbers than... The, dropped dropped too much to our likings. Right. Right, a little bit too much what we expected. Right. Okay. So I got on the phone with DinoJet right. and... DinoJet requested that I send a bunch of runs to them from your Suwiki pipe right. and from your Bassani pipe. Right. And what they did was they analyzed it. And with the series of runs that was sent there, they're saying that we made approximately seven more horsepower only okay. with the Suwiki pipe. And the way that they calculate this is what they call speed over time. Okay. So... The amount of time that it takes your bike to hit a certain speed is how the how the horsepower is calculated. Okay, so it's right. a formula. Right. So your bike um, on the older hit 140 miles an hour, 5.83 seconds. Okay. Where this one got 143, speed. but but it took 7.2 seconds to get there. Okay. That's why it's showing less horsepower. Okay. Okay. Um, looking at the power over RPM, the Sawicki exhaust had little power down low and it made more power up top. Got you. Okay. Whereas the Bassani that's on there now made better power down low, but gave up some of that power. And, and that's, up top. And, the, and the lower is where we usually ride. Right. Unless you're on the racetrack and you, you're the one that you use the top end all the right. time. Right. So if you look here, the red line is the Sawicki pipe. 
I see. Okay, so it's a little less power down low, and it, right around 3,500, it goes, it, they crisscross, and it goes above the Masani, so gotcha. it made more up top gotcha. around your 5,000. Where this one, you're getting a little more power down low, and right. then it comes up. And I mean, look, the difference between here and here is six horsepower. So at, it's at not, 5, it looks, yeah. yeah, it looks big on the sheet, but that's your difference in exhaust. Okay. It, it seems like you lost sleep over it more than I did, by the way. I did. <laughs> but no, listen, I knew coming into this, I knew right. I'll be giving up some power, some performance, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't care because I wanted the looks, I wanted the sound, and I wanted right. for my next application, and that's going to uh, that's gonna be the, the, uh, the functionality of the bike because I'm going right. to be installing the bigger uh, bags and everything. So I, I didn't really care. And um, the bike is very light. I am light. I'm giving up a little bit of performance, but gaining uh, other things that I want, functionality, right. and, and like I said, so I, I'm, you're bothered by it more than I am. Right, Okay. <laughs> no, I am. So these are the actual difference in numbers. These are the accurate ones now. So your Sawicki pipe, we had at 113 and 127. 113, okay. 127. Right. And the Vasani 106. So this is uh, seven on the, on the horsepower and four on the torque. Right. Okay, this is the average that they took from all the runs. Right. Perfect. But you see what we were talking about, that the the Sawicki pipe peaked at 3,900 RPM, where this one peaks at 37, and it's a little low. It's a little lower. So that's where the other pipe had more power up top. That's Say that again. Peaked. So... <clears throat> The Sawicki pipe. The Sawicki, the blue, right? Sawicki is the red pipe. Oh, the red. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that it peaked at 3,900 RPM. At a higher, at, at a higher, higher uh, RPM. Correct. Than what I currently have. Right, and that's when we look just looked at this line where it right, intersects right. and crisscrosses. Gotcha. So that's what we were saying previously. That it's right. So makes... um, so my usable power, max power, is lower RPM. Right. With but, this pipe. Now, even though you're a little bit lower here. That uh, on your horsepower, yeah. this Bassani pipe, your peak power carries the 5,500 RPM. We said that's the re the range. We right. call that the... the it's the power band. The so power band, right. Your power band is your area between peak horsepower or peak torque and peak horsepower. Okay. So your power band is, if you deduct 5,500 from 3,700. Yeah. Um, I can see it's wider uh, on my current. Right. So... You I know. got it. I got it. So you you got a few more hundred RPM to you hit your peak power with this pipe. All right. A couple, you know, 5,500. As soon as you get around 56, 58, that's when I'd be shifting. Yes. Okay. And you tell you the truth, myself and I think majority of people don't ride the upper the upper scale of the RPMs. No, Probably they ride the people. two and a half to five. That's where I ride. I know John likes to ride the, the upper... Uh, yeah, I shift, me personally, I shift, uh, you know, 5, 55 okay, maybe. Yeah, that's, yeah, but yeah. we do have some guys that... Yeah, it's style, it's ride we, style. Right, right, we build, I have a performance bagger I'm building right now with a yeah. 143 here. That guy rides in fourth gear on the highway at 5,000 all the time, and he's shifting in the sixes. Ah. And that's just the way he rides, and he gets like... 90 miles to a tank on his, on his back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, huh. and we don't know what he's going to get with the new motor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't concerned. Okay. I mean, I just, came, I just came to pick up, it's the next day. I just came to pick up uh, my, my Sawiki uh, exhaust that's going to one of you. Uh, and Mike was like, you literally didn't sleep uh, last night. And, and came back to the garage, to the shop, and uh, contacted uh, Dino, Dino Jet. Yeah, I'm not like you're. Like I said, you're more concerned about it than I well, am. But they gave you they gave you the good explanation. Right. It's I not, mean, if I'm here tuning bikes for a living, this is oh, absolutely. This is, this is what I yeah. I need to understand everything that's happening, Obviously. and it's and only going to make me better. And it's not it's not the big drop that we saw yesterday. Right. Okay. Right. Got that? Okay. So that's the Vasani Superbike. I'll have links down by the description, which will take you directly to the to that specific pipe. Mike, thanks yes. again for all the help. Oh, no problem. Where, where can people find you? We, uh, you can find us at 221 Gracie Place in Hackensack. Yep. Or on our Instagram, um, torque underscore custom underscore cycles. And phone number here? 201-880-7000. Yeah. 
Six four four zero. Thank you so much. You see, right. you seen the job that Thank he did. You. So check him out. Thank you so much again. Man. Oh, anytime. Thank you. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Right.